All right. So, no, this is Knight's Try. Uh, I've been waiting to play this game for a really long time now. Um, and, hold on, where is... Why doesn't it just open on my side? There we go. And... Here I am. For some reason, this is the name it's decided to go with. All right, so... Just a little, little bit, a little bit of setup. I promise that it's not going to be this much of a disaster next time around. Uh, uh. Knights try. Knights try. There we go. Yeah, OPS likes to just use the title of whatever you last stream. Really frustrating. Yeah, uh, that is no good. But the good news is I fixed it now. Uh, so we can get started. Ah! <laughs> ah, you like to see this. You like to see native... Um, uh, controller configurations. Kerplonk. Welcome, Brave Knight, to the land of try. Uh, controller recommended. Press escape or start to pause and access. <coughs> I don't need any help. Oh. Okay, this is just... You have to be around something. Is there no flip? What is this? Oh, I can lock the camera. That's pretty interesting. That's a cool mechanic. Also, there's terrible screen tearing, but we'll deal. Oh my god, I'm playing Fall Guys. This is the uh, this is the Siegmeier Dark Souls skin. Life is a disaster. Do what you've got to do. <laughs> Hold backspace to reset from the last checkpoint. That better be the sign there. I don't want to have to jump that all over again. Hey, respawn me. Are you, oh, wow. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> That's exactly what I wanted. I can also lock the camera to a fixed axis here by pressing R2. That's pretty good. Is there no dive? This is a game that needs a dive, guys. Come on. You need a dive for this. No screen tearing in the stream, luckily. Really? That's interesting. That's very interesting. Alright, so what's up there? This seems like an optional place. I'm not gonna go there. This plinth commemorates the exultant efforts of a true arts knight of Try. This plinth commemorates the heroic efforts of a true knight of Try. Hmm. Not for not not for me. Thank you very much. How are the uh, how's the audio? Is the is things okay? Climb atop it. Knight check must be used indefinitely. Arts knight choir. Oh. Night. You'll also notice, uh, eagle-eyed viewers, that they used the font from Kingsfield for this. No. Pfft, night. Whee! So not many people know this, but uh, from software, they tried their hands at uh, Super Mario 64. Uh, di I died immediately. Audio sounds good here. Audio is great. That's wonderful. That's what I like to hear. Good audio. Why does it take so long to respawn? I don't need to see my guy fall for 20 minutes. Oh. Come on! <laughs> respawn, damn it! Good lord. Okay, that takes a while, so we better just not die, huh? Okay. Not many people know this, but Dark Souls... 
uh, creators from software tried their hands at a, a Mario 64 knockoff once upon a time. And the result is what we have right now. Oh god. Oh. Is there some utility to... Can I get in this? No. Why are there steps going back up? If there's no utility to this house. That's weird. Unless there's maybe a uh, go backwards function for the levels. Oh, come on. Oh. <laughs> okay, is that just like... Oh. That was easy. Hmm. I thought that was like a pillar. All the way back! Come on, man! I was doing good. <laughs> ah! He's still falling. Okay, I think I just need to mash some buttons while I fall, and then it'll uh, reset. Damn it! Oh, whoa! I somehow doubled my guy. Did you see that? That was crazy. Speedrunners will be talking about this for years to come. The uh, the Aesir dupe, they'll call that, the duplication glitch. It allows you to uh, finish a checkpoint twice, which gives you bonus scores. There we go. Yeah, fall down, asshole. Okay, so I think the utility of locking the camera is that you can, it kind of, yeah, it sort of overcomes one of the weaknesses of the fixed behind camera in that uh, sometimes the fixed camera is better. Like if I was doing an extensive side-scroller platforming challenge, I may just want to keep it locked rather than have to continually uh, re-rig it. Ah! I was close. First time chat from viewer uh, Mermus Sam Mario 64 with only Metal Cap Mario. <laughs> I joked about uh, I thought I could land on that. I thought there was a little piece of land there. No! That's it. We'll do it. We'll do it in one go now. Check this out. Literal speedrunning stat strats here. I feel like this should have a dive function. I don't know. Maybe I've been spoiled by uh, for by Nintendo 64 era platformers. But I I have uh, I have strong feelings about how how this should be controlling. Fall down. Fall down. Fall down. Fall down. Wait, what? No. No, okay, I can't actually walk there. Ah! How do I do that? Damn it! <laughs> there we go. Also, I love the little shadow. This is, of course, the uh, Super Mario 64 trick. Because there's no way... It's so painful to try to find a 3D model in a 3D space. When, where's the hitbox on those spikes, man? Oh, they got his little legs while he was lying there dead. All right. All right, now we're in the thick of things. Okay, yeah, so in, in the future, I'll know to set the... Um, set OBS to have a different thumbnail and such for the streams and then I won't have to start with a 10 minute preamble. Can I just run through this? I can't! I can't! What is... Uh, what's the timing on that, man? Damn it. Also, I'm, I'm getting a bit frustrated. I shouldn't. That doesn't make for good content. You're supposed to be relaxed. 
A chill streamer is a happy streamer, as they say. Where is the... Ah! What? Ah! What? I... Ah! Oh, what the hell did I just do? Ah! Whoa! I was I was out of it because I discovered the uh, the spawn glitch. Okay. S stop. Okay, I'm I'm playing worse. I'm beginning to play badly, and I'm like six minutes into the level. There we go. This is getting better. Also, a uh, big fan of the of the sort of blurry N64 graphics. I don't know what this effect is called. Maybe it's just called having blurred graphics. Or blurred textures, I should say, not blurred graphics. Talking like a grandma. Um, but I really like it. It's a good contrast against the sort of PSX games, which were all super jittery and sharp. What is the trick here? There has to be a trick. Oh, hey, I can sit down. Okay, can I just... Okay, I, I suppose I just have to jump while I'm there, don't I? Why? Why? Uh... Options. Let's see. Invert look sensitivity. No, I don't. I don't. I. Uh... I want to see if I have a dive function somewhere. Like, look at these cobbled bricks with the moss in the middle. It feels like I'm in Firelink Shrine. He has impressive jump distance for a guy in a full plate armor. That's true. First try spawn glitch through. Hawk. <laughs> there we go. What I'm doing right now, I am doing like the speedrunning community. What? Okay. I'm doing the speedrunning community uh, big service. Uh, they're probably way ahead of me, but I can pretend that I'm sort of shaving down the seconds. Like, notice that? I, I was I was pinpoint accuracy finding the hitbox for that little path there. I haven't even made it that far, and the reason I died in my furthest uh, attempt was because I decided to try to jump when I really shouldn't have. I'm giving this game way too much credit. I shouldn't I shouldn't expect it to be this friendly with me. I'm just glad Siegmeier got his own game. Yeah, this is a uh, this is what he was doing while we were uh, This is how he got to uh, An Orlando, I believe. It's right up there. From Zen's Fortress. This is my enemy. Ah! I'm getting so tired of this damn. Ah! And the thing is, it wouldn't be so hard if it just told me what I'm doing wrong. It feels like a total crapshoot about whether I'll get in there or not. But then, after I've done this a hundred more times, I feel like this is one of those things which is just gonna come so naturally. Again, just eat shit. And I haven't gotten any checkpoints either. Even though I've made it so far into the level. Oof, we just gotta, we gotta sit down a bit.
What is that line? Is that his armor? I suppose. What is... What did he... <sighs> oh lordy, we are here again. Can I... Can I glitch around this, please? Just, can I, can I, can I, can I? Be very cool if that's possible. Also, I noticed that the, uh, I noticed that you didn't actually attach the floor texture to the end of the wall. It probably looks fine like this, where the, it ends here, but you're, you, you, you see it, right? It's missing there. That's a big flaw. Just straight off the bat. Ah! This is getting ridiculous. I'm not looking up a speed run or like a t tutorial for this area. But yeah, uh, Eagle Light viewers will notice they use the Kingsfield font. I'm a big fan of that. There's another game coming out, I think it's called Monomyth, that also uses it. Uh, I haven't paid much attention to that game, but from what I've seen, I've... Okay, see, just running straight doesn't work. There's a, yeah, for Monomyth, ooh, I managed to do it again. I think the trick is just press triangle whenever. All right, let's do it for real. There we go. If somebody in chat has played this game, please tell me what the trick is. I don't, I, I don't understand it. Does it have something to do with the house? Am I supposed to like get in here and? Can I climb up these vines? No. Um, is there like... There better not be like an invisible floor here. Nah, there wouldn't be. I probably would have hit it when I was jumping there. Is it like, walk slowly and you'll make it? Oh! We figured it out. That took way too long. More Kingsfield fonts in new games is always welcome. Yes. It's the, uh, it's the, uh, Virgin Helvetica. Oh, what fresh hell is this? That can't be done. Ah. The Virgin Helvetica versus the chat, whatever this is called. You kidding me with this? Hey. No. Oh. Stop. Oh, this is gonna collapse. I know it. It's gonna fall. Oh. I also thought maybe a falling boulder would come. Okay. Okay. So. The pattern is correct all the way through. Damn it! I. <laughs> no! Damn it! Oh, I panicked. You saw it. I panicked. I didn't think I'd have enough time to do it. But yeah, I had to stop to check out the pattern, because this is absolutely the sort of game that would break the pattern just to be a dick. Have you ever played Killer? No. Is Killer also one of the Kingfield font games? Zero checkpoints, apparently, from this guy's Metal Elden. Yep. I don't know what a boy has to do. It's probably up there, just like... Because that's where I was. 
And I was probably just supposed to go up to the top of that tower, get my checkpoint, and I'd be Gucci. But I failed. Yeah, fall down, bitch. Fall, fall down again. Easy. Easiest part of the game so far. Yeah, come on. There we go. All right, absolute focus here. Boom. Oh my God, did you see? Did you see? Ooh, but, ooh, but I'm so slick because I've tried it before. Come on, fall down again. I test- Oh, I tested the frames! I got it so good, didn't I? Ha! Ah. Fall down. Fall down. Da 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 da! Praise the sun. Now this is gonna be easy. No! Crap! I didn't get the timing on that. Uh, Murmurism. No, I was just curious if you've played one of my favorite games and the 7 is not a typo. Oh, I thought that was Killer Question Mark, not Killer 7. <laughs> I've heard of Killer 7, but I haven't played it. I think that's like... That's a game that I think is... Oh crap, I thought there was a platform there. That's a game that I hear is beloved. But... It's just not on my radar. What's it about? Okay. Wait, can I actually just... Nope. You, you kidding me? They're gonna make me time it, chat. Oh! No! <laughs> Damn it. Okay, stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. Don't leave! Whew. Okay. There has to be a trick. Oh, I was so close! My gamer reflexes honed to perfection. But I couldn't get it done. If I couldn't do that, nobody could have done that. You know that, chat. There we go. Easy. Oh, yeah, th this is exactly what I needed. Good lord. Like... <sighs> Get out of that cramped area, you bastard. Ugh. Ah, come on! Oh, I see it. I know, there's another one here. There we go. Now what tricks are they gonna try to play? I, can, I see another one right there. Ah. Uh. Made it! First try. Ah, oh, look at the texture. Look at the texture in the distance we drag it with our camera. I wonder if there even is a... It's probably not even a, a 360 degree texture, is it? It's just like the same texture and it's just... It locks to the camera. Those lazy developers, man. Also, this looks, um... Doable. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Ah! Stop! Stop! Okay. Oh, come on. Ah. 
this must have been so fun, uh, playtesting, because he probably had some function. Or she? Girls can make obnoxious little night platforming games too. Probably had some function to just zip themselves to wherever they needed to be to test these jumps. Uh, Killer7, it's a horror political thriller game about a group of split personality assassins fighting a monster's terrorist group. Goes without saying, there's nothing else really like it. Sounds cool. Alright. Chat, are you seeing this? This <clears throat> looks ominous. This arrow. Don't crumble. Ah! No! No! <laughs> Come on! Why? That sucked so much! Uh, I have to go all the way back, too! Oh, these finicky developers, they keep finding new ways to challenge me! There we go. Yeah, 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 get moving. Oh, didn't even need to jump. That was easy, chat. Oh, whoa. Ah! Hey, 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 that's... It didn't, that, I didn't do that before. We're not counting that one. That was a glitch. That was a glitch in the system. It feels like some guy was like, hmm, hmm, I like Sense Fortress. What if I just smoked a bunch of crack and did that but more? No, 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 no! Come on, come on, come on, I gotta time it now! I feel like the guy, I feel like whoever made this game must have been like angry at the world or something. <laughs> okay. Now. There we go. See, the boulders don't all have the same length. Not now. Uh, well, I should have done it now. Not now. Now. There we go. I just had a good tempo when I tried it first. The speedrunning community will thank me that I did it like that for them. Should have done it there. No. 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 Stop. Ooh! Saved it. Ah, stop! Ah, what's with this bad timing? Okay. For real now, chat. We can't keep playing this game. This game of pretending not to know how to do this. There we go. I also have, uh, I have a sneaking suspicion there's nothing good waiting for me if I fall down there. And this is so difficult. Alright. No! Okay, where does this take me? Don't get snacked on anything, camera. No. No, it can't just go nowhere, man. It has to go somewhere. Can I, like, wall jump or something? Come on. No. No, you're gonna make... He's gonna... They're gonna make me jump! 
They're gonna make. Ooh. Oh. Oh my god. Hey, maybe I found a secret area. There's like a. There's an easy way to get to the. To get to the exit, but yeah, you, ha you have to use these developer shortcuts they put into the map. Oh god, I don't think there is anything there. Is there like a hidden stuff here somewhere? Nope. <sighs> okay. We ate a little bit of shit there. Okay. We <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. We ate a little bit of shit there. This is, frankly, a bit preposterous. But there's a lot of mid-air control, so I'm not going to complain too hard, because they gave me at least that much. There we go. No, yes. There we go. Ooh! Yeah, this section is actually fairly easy now that I have a good grip on it. But this! This section sucks! Ah. Uh, sorry that I can't read chat too much. I'm trying to... Why? 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 Uh, why this beam here? Why this one? It's just tall enough that I can't jump on it. Also, if I miss this, I'll try. I'll have to try to angle. Yeah, I'll have to angle. Uh... Actually, this is kind of forgiving because if I fall down from this angle, I should probably just fall directly on the beam below me. But of course, I don't fall. <laughs> I'm something of a knight's try expert. We exist. Okay, so I suppose the arrow was trying to tell me that this thing is going to move rather than tell me that I need to move. Okay. Whew. Oof! Okay. Does this keep going or... Hey! Oh no! It only moves when I'm on it. Okay, so... What the hell? What the hell is this? Okay, there's only four scythes. Ugh. No! <laughs> Uh, also, I should probably just stay to one side when I do that, so that I don't have to contend with two sides uh, coming at me at the same time. Uh, uh, where's the next checkpoint? This is preposterous. But this reminds me a lot of that level from, uh, from uh, Shadow Tower Abyss. There we go. That level uh, near the end where you meet the uh, Spear King or whatever his name is. Why didn't the. There we go. Okay, no, yes. Also, it probably doesn't help that I've been playing a lot of Sekiro recently and. In that game, you can always retry after every death. Just like immediately, so... Alright, we're back to this. Back up here, go back up there. Damn it. Oh, the ragdoll physics carry me away. I 
I also like that there's this really clunky sound effect for our guy's suit of tin armor or whatever he's wearing. Clonk, 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 clonk. No. No, yes. Oh, I can go... I can touch the blade when it's on the way up. That's nice to know. There we go. Also, I'm a big fan of... Uh, I've died more often than I have been playing this for many minutes. There we go. Come on! I have no idea how long this level is too, and it's like another, another, uh, another component of this. I'll probably see the next checkpoint while I'm up there. Oops. Stop! Stop! Jesus! Camera freaking out on me. Oh no. <sighs> Don't! Okay. Okay, okay, okay. You know, that platforming challenge I did in Morrowind yesterday was much easier than this. Jesus. Stop! Ugh! Stop with these wall camera wall collisions. You don't need them. Just let the camera go through every wall rather than do this. Oh! Stop! No, no, yes. No, no, yes. Yes, no. Yes, no. Yes. There we go. Ooh, it's getting easy again. Oh, that's annoying. Why doesn't... Uh... It's weird that when I lock the camera to my guy, that when I look around, my guy doesn't also uh, look around. That's a really weird design choice. Come on. Why can't I make that jump anymore? Because I distinctly remember Mario 64 had that, uh, in that wet wet world or whatever it was called, wet dry world or whatever, there was that one lock you had to jump through or something, uh, and you always, because the camera was really lousy in that game, nostalgia lovers will, uh, will object, but there was that one jump where you had to just go first person, manually aim the camera and make the jump because you couldn't get a good look at it otherwise. No? Ah, oh, I almost made it. It's fine. A jump here, stop. A jump there, stop. A jump up there, stop. A jump there, stop. Is it angled differently? No. Now I got a Discord message. Let's try this. I. Oh! 
it has to be angled at different... Ugh. Okay, so I'll, I'll explain what I mean when I get up there again. Just, uh, just gotta, just gotta, just gotta speedily do this. Yeah, make it, make it, make it, make it. There we go. There we go. Stop grinding against the walls. Come down. Thank you. No, no, yes. Come on. Jesus. No, not enough time. Not enough time. Plenty of time. No. Now. Okay, so angles. I was talking about angles. This comes from a straight trajectory just out of the wall. 90 degrees bend right here. And then it just juts straight out. That one, I don't think it does. I think that one, that one there, is at an angle. Hold on, can I... Meaning, at the bottom, where it looks like you can land, that's protruding a bit further away from you. And because it's so sloped, it's not so obvious. So I'm wondering if I have to actually try to hit it from the middle. Well, that didn't work. Oh! I'm being destroyed. I'm being destroyed. All of my gaming in impulses, my instincts as a gamer, just gone into the trash. Also, I should probably jump over those when they've completed falling down just to save myself some time. Huh. There we go. Optimizing. I'm optimizing the run with every with every with every uh, try. Yeah, also if it stops a boulder, that doesn't really matter that much to me if I jump over it, because I'm not as dependent on it being uh, open for me to jump up at. Oh well, run past, not jump at. How did I do this once, but then never again? There has to be a trick. Like, look at this. Ooh! Maybe I just need to jump while I'm at the absolute edge of the beam. And it doesn't help, it doesn't help that I have to manually shut it down. Nope, stop. I wasn't gonna redo it again. There we go. Oh, also good news. I'll be finalizing the Sekiro script. Uh, right after I'm done streaming this. No, 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 no! <sighs> oh, oh. Blech. Blech. Oh, hey, I'm invulnerable right here. That's pretty cool. I'll be finalizing the Sekiro script, and I'll be starting the actual recording right after this, so... It better, it better, it's, it has to be good, because I can't be, I can't be ranting and screaming so much, it's straining my voice. So when you listen to the Sekiro commentary, when it's finally done, if I'm like, if in the beginning of the script I'm like, Yeah, so, uh, welcome everybody, you'll know it's because I was screaming at this damn game for like, however long I decide to go for this stream. No, no. You jump here. Boom. Ah, ba -ba 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 -ba. ah, come on. 
Okay, okay, okay. I have to change my the way I'm sitting because I'm getting so frustrated at this. This is, this is I. I would have made it. I would have probably made that twice. Okay. Absolute laser focus. Chat. I'm gonna have to be silent for just a few seconds now. Okay. Okay. Big fan of this. How the texture is just clearly repeating at that end. There's no attempt to hide it. Genuinely a big fan of it. I love this aesthetic. Okay, so... Okay, okay. Okay. There we go. No, it is straight. It's protruding right out of the beam. I was going crazy. Stop. Stop. Stop touching the beam, camera. That's alright. It's alright. We only fell a bit back. All is not lost. Anyway, uh, can you spoil your favorite Sekiro boss for us? Ishin, of course. Sword Saint, Sword Saint Ishin. Um, the, uh, the, f the at the finale after Genichiro, not the one you fight in the sure ending. I like his lightnings. I like his crazy amount of faces. I like that he has a gun for no reason. He also makes for a really intense fight, and there's so many opportunities to uh, uh, experiment with different tactics in that fight. Okay. Actually, is it a good idea to stay in the middle? Yes. But I should probably be on this side first. My rhythm, my rhythm was just a little bit off there, but I'll make it this time, I know it. I can feel it in my bones. Uh, but I also like the folding screen monkeys. That's a very unpopular opinion, people don't like those guys. I love them. I love the Sakura Dragon, that's a very obvious one. Everybody likes that one. Demon of Hatred, that's a pretty fun boss too, when you get the hang of it. Uh, owl, inner owl, regular owl, I didn't, oh. I'm getting worse, apparently. There's a bunch of great bosses, like Butterfly, Lady Butterfly, she's fun. No, yes. Why? Hey! Come on. What's also great about that game is that I don't think the camera was ever really, with the exception of maybe that uh, lone shadow in the well, I don't think the camera was ever a big hassle in that game. Like it has a tendency to be when From Software decides to make bosses. So it's also just a stronger camera system, it knows when to obfuscate items that get into view. I think it's I think it's raised a bit higher above Wolf's head when you're playing, so when you're fighting an enemy, well when you're locked onto an enemy, 
you have a much better view of their animation. It's also great because they overhauled the postures, uh, the posture, the combat system. Is that um, fights when you're fighting a big enemy, you're no longer just like trying to slash at its toes and crotch while it does sweeping attacks at you. You can actually like look at it and see what it looks like rather than just. Oh my god, I survived. Yeah, you can actually see the boss rather than just scurry around at its feet like some sort of rat. Okay. I am a big fan of the sound design of this game. I particularly like how, how like those sights. They're so mundane sounding. It's just like a so weird like mechanical ka-chang, ka-chang. You hear it every time I respawn. Oh! Stop! This sound. Oh, it's it's the spikes, not the scythes. But if I say something different about my opinions on Sekiro in the actual commentary, uh, it's probably because a lot of that stuff is sort of in flux at the moment. And I haven't finalized the script. I'm about to finalize it. It's also going to be crazy because... Uh, just a few days from now, it's less than a week until Elden Ring drops. To all those of you looking, watching this in the future, uh, I'm living in a pre-Elden Ring world still, talking to you, and I have no idea how I'm going to even attempt to play that game if I don't have the Sekiro video ready by the time it releases. Damn it! It's always there. It's always that beam. It's so difficult. No, yeah, I can do that. Oh. Turns out I wasn't saving that much time by jumping over the swords in the first place, so... There we go. No... No... There we go! I think this is the one. I have a good vibe going right now. Oh, I accidentally pressed the button. Oops, I have to retry. Would have made it though if I hadn't accidentally pressed the button. You saw it. Oh, oh what, what's that? Oh my god. Oh, frame rate. Jesus! Look at him. What happens if I station myself in both of them? Uh, it just picks one of them? Is it randomized or is it set to... No, it's probably set to where my larger footprint is. Oh.
Yeah. That probably took like a week of testing to get right. Not even kidding. Somebody must have slaved away at that, or, or maybe not, maybe it's just intuitive uh, and the collision system handles it natively. But I can fully, I totally believe that was something somebody had to slave over for a week. And then it still didn't quite match up to what they had in their heads. Yeah, collisions are no joke. There, and there. Oh! I was trying to get a bit of a run up, but I didn't get a far enough one, and then I jumped off like an idiot. Okay, okay, just hurry this along, hurry this along, this part. Oops. Nah. Never gonna happen. Stop! Jesus. Okay, so... Let's see. This goes up there. I wonder what... Oh, that there is like a me. And he's doing the same pose as the one there, so... Is that the checkpoint? Ooh, I don't know, I don't know about this. No, no, yes. Come on. Already lost so much time. Also, since this is just gonna take a while, I suppose I should tell you all a little something that's going on in my life. So I'm trying to bum a free haircut off of uh, one of my friends. I used to have so many friends, and all of them, they all wanted to become hairdressers. And they was always calling me, Acer. Hey, they didn't call me Acer, they don't know. Nobody in my life knows about this channel. Uh, they were always calling me up when they were in hairdressing school or whatever it's called. Hey, can you come over? I have to do a bit of an assignment. And I was like, sure. I'll come on over, I, I love getting free haircuts. But those girls have all graduated since then. So now it's like, I have to pay for them and I don't, and the thing is, I, I can't, I can't make friends with a bunch of new girls who are getting into the industry because like, it's just, it, it was one thing when I was their age, but now the girls that are getting into the hairdressing industry, they're like, they're like, they're so much younger than me. It will just look weird. So, I've been trying to I've been trying to guilt somebody that I know into giving me a free haircut. But that's also not going so well. So I suppose if I uh, don't find a solution, I'll have to actually pay somebody. I should go to them and just be like, "Look, look. I have like some subscribers on YouTube." Do you have any idea how good exposure this would be for you? Be one of those jackasses. Ah. Uh, okay. Okay. Because I haven't had a haircut since I did my Silent Hill 3 commentary, I think. And, Jesus, that's like... What is that, three years? Two years? That's crazy. Nah, surely it's only two years, I think. And yeah, for uh, for the hair exposure, I would like, I change my avatar's haircut for like a day, and then I change it back. Boom. 
I did it. Also, why doesn't this go to a point, man? Like, wh what the fuck? Why do it like this? Why not be nice to your players, man? Okay, this doesn't have any collisions when I'm moving very fast. That's fun. Ah, shit. Okay, it seems like only the actual blade of the scythe would hurt me. Also, this is a free zone. Is this where I'm supposed to go? No. Crap! Crap! No! 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 I wasted too much time trying to figure out if there was a secret path. Ah! That was a freebie. Okay, but I have that I have that part of the game down now. I just gotta not dick around. Just stay close to the edge, kiss it, jump only when there are sides, and then delay it while the beam thing comes out. Ugh. Oh. Oh, I thought it would start moving! Just go, I'm not jumping it. Alright then. No more, no more joke runs, no more pretending to die to get laughs after this one. Just had to do it one. This one, just for old time's sakes, had to pretend one more time. But it was only a goof. Check this out. Yeah, I suppose it's time to... Oh, he doesn't stand up fast enough. And there's probably some tech to actually using that sitting down animation. Probably if I used it where the uh, where I was on the moving platform up there, probably that block thing that came out of the wall wouldn't have been able to hit me even. Stop doing this! Damn it! Stop! Stop hitting the 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 the, the boulders, man! Okay. I, you know what my problem is? I keep trying to do it faster. I just have to accept that I have to do it right. Like that. Ah, uh, well, yeah, I could have tried that. That would have been fun. But no. We gotta do it right now. Easy. This part has become easy to me. this. I'm the night strike god. I live and breathe this game. I 
Okay. Be quick, be quick, be quick. Oh. oh, I did it. Oh. I'm not going to this. Nope. Jesus, Jesus, how do I do this? Oh, okay. Ah! 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 I don't trust this. I don't trust this! What's the secret? Am I gonna slide off? Is there something over there? Was I supposed to jump in there? If I go back, do you think I can still make it? I just gotta... Oh. <laughs> Easy. Oh no. Wait a minute, you have a Shrek emoji? Where did you get that? Are you destroying the board? Are you gonna aim that thing at me? Ah! Oh, come on. Come on, man. You can't do this to me. You don't know how, how much I've gone through to get here. Ah! No! Stop! I feel like that one hit me too. I feel like I should have died there. Oh. Oh, maybe they don't actually do any damage. It's... <laughs> it's just cosmetic. <laughs> Unless maybe the ball has to actually physically hit you. Are these spikes? Oh, these are spikes that activate the moment I touch them. Aren't they? Knew it! Jesus. You cannot... Ah, no! Come on. Come on, man! Some weird emotes from a streamer that plays Soulshot with a dance pad. Good lord. They'll, uh, they'll let anybody on Twitch these days. Yeah, also I've been thinking, when the time comes for emotes, what sort of emotes I should do. I think I'll, I'll import the Dekot Ur I have on the Discord. That's easy. Uh, maybe something with like my little YouTube avatar thing. Yeah, it activates afterwards. Oh my god, it's like, it's like, it's like I'm in the Dark Souls 1 crystal cave with these collision objects here, man! Okay. Oh my god. You can do one or two about your game? I could do that. Some, yeah. I could do that, praise the holy mango. I'll do the one where the giant pick boss eats the player. You can have like gif emotes, yeah? Probably. So I'll put that one up. And, and, and. I'll do the one with a snip. Hey! Oh! <coughs> Blech. 
Okay, so apparently it does matter not to get hit. I'll do one with the snail, I was gonna say. But I feel like, rather than wait for this, best strategy, probably... Oh, okay, okay, I get it. So after you die twice, they'll just zoom in on you. Because I was just running through it the first time, and that worked fine! Fuck this game. Now, chat, you'll know that I didn't mean that. We're not supposed to swear on this fine platform. On this kid-friendly platform. Come on, that was me. That wasn't even... I can't even blame the cannonball for that one. Maybe I'll just have that try a billion or whatever number at the top. Respawn, man. Don't do this. There must be a way. Stop. Stop for a moment. Don't hit me. First of all, is this anything? No. Well, I mean, it's death. Profanity is the devil's doorbell. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, Mark Simpson. <laughs> nah, nah. Not even close. Not even close. Empty your shots. Oh, you know what? I probably should have started running. There we go. Ah, after I saw you, it fired. Come on. And now I'm now I'm playing. It's becoming so much harder because I have to. I have to. I have to calculate the the cannons. I'm trying to map their triangulate their position. This way. So I don't know how much tracking they do in the air. Surely some. Also, I think I'm more or less safe being up here. Uh, because this is such a thin area. It's hard for the cannonballs to hit it. There we go. Stop moving so fast! Oh, I'm getting so good at this game! Stop. Okay, so... I was clearly mapping out my path. So I don't feel like that one should even count. That's two then that haven't counted so far. I'll count the joke deaths I had to do. Also, because we're doing a Scott Pilgrim episode on the podcast, uh, I had to read all of Scott Pilgrim and watch the movie, the Edgar Wright movie. Uh, and finally, I'm like, oh, that's why, that's why 
when I was in uh, whatever grade I was in there. That's why everybody was acting like that. That's why that's why all the girls had pink hair. That's why all the boys thought it would be cool to go into a band. I'm like, yeah, that, that makes sense. That makes sense. Meanwhile, I stayed at home playing video games, mastering them, as you can clearly see. I should have gone to more parties, but. You can't change that. All you can do is push ahead and try your night cyst. Night cyst. Oh, he keeps sniping me. Like, this is actually, like, it, it is hard enough without having to also deal with these assholes. Oh, please. Let me jump. Oh, let me jump. Oh, thank you. Also, I don't know how much... Ah, uh, oh, I jumped. I jumped to avoid that. Oh. I don't know how much optional areas there are. Because, like, I can see... Oh, come on. There's a bridge there. And there's a part of me thinking, can I get over there and shut that off? Wait a minute. If I die, this is one of the freebies. Oh, yes. Okay. Hey, hey, no, ah! Uh Ah. Being obliterated by a cannonball is also the devil's torn up. Yeah. Getting pretty tired of this, not gonna lie. See, I, my thinking was, if this pillar, because of the way it was leaning, it could have gone to that area and could have maybe taken me to a secret area at the bottom. But I don't know. Is this the kind of game that has secret content like that? Stop dying! Ugh. It would be hard enough even if they shot predict at predictable locations. Yeah! I love this game so much though. Ooh, 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 ooh! The dodges! Oh! Oh! Ooh! Oh! I think I'm in relative safety here. Oh, okay. Maybe I am actually totally safe while I'm on these platforms. Because of this big pillar. But it moved so fast that I was stressed out and I couldn't see... Does it reverse its trajectory when I jump? Because that would be a total dick move, developer. Uh, uh, streaming for 90 minutes. Chat, I'm gonna get this try counter up to 100, and we're calling it a night. Ah. Also, I don't know if I'll come back to this. Probably just do more Morrowind. Oh! Stop! But this feels like one of those things where even if I don't beat it, what makes this funny is that if I come back to this, I could reach this area again in like four tries at this point. Because I've, I've intuitive so much of it. Respawn, man. That doesn't count. I did that accidentally. So it's gonna be 101. Those cannonballs are becoming more accurate. <laughs> that sucked. 
I just walked off the edge there, huh? I don't know if they're becoming more accurate of, or if I'm just becoming more of a dumbass. Like, I, I don't know if I actually should be dodging them or if my original strategy of just ignoring them was actually the best one. Let's ignore them again. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it seems to be working fine. He said. Oh. Six more tries. Can I beat this game in six more tries? I think so. Just, we can't keep dying. That's the trick. Okay. Five more tries. Five more tries. Can I beat this game in five more tries? I think so. I think so. The trick is to just not die. Also, I'm gonna wait out the cannons this time. Okay, they'd probably do some mid-air... ...homing. Look at that. Uh, okay, so... Oh, wait a minute. I'm wondering, do they shoot where I am, or do they shoot where I'm going to be? Okay. That's pretty definitive. I'm not counting that one. I was doing an experiment. Okay, so... I have no idea. I have no idea how this works. You have to go to 102. Now they just snipe you. Onion-seeking cannons. Yeah. Chosen undead, please save me. Ah! Three more tries. We can do this. I will crush this game. Probably should have waited this out. Two more tries. I can do this. Okay. That was mine. That was my bad. That was my bad. Okay. Final try. Final try. <sighs> Just gonna... Okay, no, if I die here, that doesn't count. I have to at least make it to that platform. Okay, so... Oh! I even hit the thing. I like how they stopped firing the moment I'm dead. Mm. One more, just one more, just one more, just one more. We can try it one more time. Ignoring the cannons, ignoring the cannons, ignoring the cannons. Jesus, I died so hard there. Wait a minute. Oh, I missed that. Well, I'm mad. And I didn't manage to beat the game like I promised I would.
Feel bad about that one. Current progress will be lost. Whatever. I can do this again. It's easy now. It's easy now that I've intuited everything. Yeah, is there a dive? Rotate the camera. Uh, it doesn't seem like it. What's this? Some late stream curiosities, you know what it's like. Oh. Oh, I get it. What's that sign? Is this one of those hilarious indie game developer signs that's like, Haha, I tricked you into finding this sign, it's of no actual use! Fabled first night mode. Use the press. <gasps> oh, this changes everything. I feel like my jump is much shorter now, though. Because I made this. Oh, I can still make it. Yeah, now I'd have to beef up the sensitivity of the camera massively if I wanted to play the game like this. Oh no, it's Kingsfield! <laughs> Damn it! I'm back here! Hello, everyone! In this episode of Kingsfield 5, we'll be talking about Kingsfield 5! Look at all these these graphical downgrades they made from the fourth one. I don't know how they did it. They decided to re-release one for the Nintendo 64 all of a sudden. Look at this. We can jump over these platforms now. You know how Kingsfield never had a good jump function? Well, guess what, everybody? We have one now, and we can walk up this. We can walk up these stairs, and we can go back and try the game all over again. And there's, ooh. Nah, we're not doing that. Current progress will be lost. Forms up jumping on the retro fat. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, oh, though from what I've seen, there seems to be a lot of Kingsfield in Elden Ring. Hmm. But we'll uh, maybe see about that when uh, when uh, when uh, when we finally get to play it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for tuning into the stream. Be sure to follow. If you haven't already, uh, I think everybody here is probably on the Discord. If not, find it. I don't have the link on me right now. I'm still a big noob when it comes to Twitch, Twitch streaming. Good night forever and ever and ever until tomorrow. Bye-bye.